What's up, everybody? It's Sergeant M. We're checking out today the Renegade Velocity from Badger Airbrush Company. First of all, I want to send a big thank you out to Ken from Badger. Uh, he sent me out a bunch of airbrushes and some uh, Spectratex paint to check out. So, Ken, thank you very much for, for all these. I'm going to get some videos going for you guys to uh, kind of showcase these things and uh, decided to go with the Velocity as my first choice. <clears throat> I've uh, been able to spend a couple hours with this airbrush now. Uh, kind of getting used to it, um, uh, how it sprays, how it doesn't spray, um, what I do, what I don't like about it. And first impressions, guys, uh, just looking at the thing, it's damn sexy because it's gunmetal gray. You can't go wrong with that. I love the finish on this airbrush. Um, it's uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, uh, not uh, I, I'm usually spraying with a Devilbus dagger. It's it's a little heavier, uh, but uh, I noticed the uh, lightweight of this of these uh, badgers, uh, the the velocity. Um, it's it's uh, it's really comfortable in your hand. That's the first thing you're going to notice when you pick it up. It sits in your hand real well. It um, it's ergonomic. Um, just an, an all around great feeling brush. Trigger control and action on it is, is totally smooth. So I guess without further ado, let's get into, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to break down and reassemble the airbrush. I'm also going to show you uh, some spray patterns, uh, some hairlines, some dots, some large dots, some little dots, some lines, some big lines. So let's jump right into it and check it out. Okay, so let's check out the breakdown and reassembly of the Velocity. <clears throat> First of all, our quick disconnect. Everything on this brush, you guys, is uh, it's just all threaded. Everything's finger tight. Don't need any wrenches, no uh, pliers, anything like that. Take that, set that off to the side. Take the back of the airbrush off. Pull the needle out. And be careful with this. Uh, as you saw in the specs, this is a very, very fine needle, 0.21 millimeters. So uh, it's going to be very, very easy to uh, damage this guy. So be very, very careful anytime you have the needle out of the airbrush. Take the front of the airbrush off. This will expose your nozzle. Again, be very, very careful. It's going to be hard to get the camera to focus on that, but. Uh, this is, I mean, it's uh, about the size of a grain of rice. So, you want to be really, really careful anytime that you're, you're dealing with any of these parts that are exposed. Ink cap just comes off, just a little plastic cover. And there's inside the paint cup. And we'll take our trigger assembly out here. And there we go. There's the airbrush. Completely broken down. And, you know, if you're going to clean it or whatever, you got some little uh, cleaning brushes uh, like this little kit here from Harbor Freight, uh, like two or three dollars. It's a really great kit. I recommend if you don't have one, definitely pick one up, uh, especially for the price. You really can't beat it. This nozzle, I'm not, I'm not actually going to take this out <clears throat> because it is so small. It is really easy if you're clumsy like me uh, and you drop it on the floor, um, it's gone. So um, there it is. There's a breakdown of the velocity. I'll go ahead and put it back together for you so you can see how easily it comes back together. I just don't want to forget to put our spring on there first. Trigger go 
goes right down inside there. Make sure that rocker is in the up position as you start to thread this on. There we go. Need a chuck nut, put that guy back in. Slide your needle in. Again, being very, very careful. You want to make sure that it goes through the airbrush without any hesitation. You don't want to try and force this thing through. That's how you end up damaging parts and having to replace parts and that, my friends, is bad. So there we go, needles all the way fully seated in the end of the nozzle. And again, what I do guys, uh, putting these things back together, this is any airbrush, I take and put, kind of cradle the airbrush like that and I put just a tiny bit of pressure, I mean, not even really any pressure at all. Just enough to kind of hold that so it's the needle stays seated up there in the nozzle. Tighten down your needle chuck nut. The air cap back on. The nozzle cap. Last piece, our quick disconnect. And there you go. There's the reassembly of the airbrush. Okay, so now on to the money maker. What are your spray patterns like with the uh, Renegade Velocity? Well, with this being a fine detail airbrush, 0.21 millimeter tip on it, uh, it's, it, it's comparable to a, a custom Micron from uh, Iwata. Uh, you're getting hairlines all the way up to one inch, and I'm gonna demonstrate that a little bit for you. Uh, what I have is uh, the airbrush hooked up to uh, my hose, running about 30 PSI right now. Uh, in the color cup is some uh, some Wicked Black, just regular Wicked Black, not the detail black. Uh, reduced to about 200% uh, with uh, some AutoWare 4011 reducer. And I'll go through a couple spray patterns with you, draw some lines, some dots, some squiggly lines, and yeah, but you guys can see uh, how the airbrush kind of sprays. And one thing that you're going to notice first and foremost uh, with this brush is it feels so, so comfortable in your hand the first time you pick it up. It's a little lighter than, say, uh, a, a dagger uh, or, or even a, um, uh, a, a Harbor Freight uh, airbrush, but uh, it's, it's completely comfortable. This, uh, the way the handle is, is, is designed, the, the back of the airbrush is designed right here. Fits real nice in, uh, with this knuckle right there. So let's get on to let's get on to what you really want to see. What's it look like spraying? There's a wide spray pattern. A couple little dots for you, and we're gonna get in real close. I'm gonna do some really really tiny dots. Control guys, your lines can be as thin or as thick as you want them to be. With this airbrush, definitely having the smaller nozzle and smaller needle uh, definitely lends itself well to that fine detail work, those fine hairlines. Some squiggly lines for you, little circles. 
circles as best I can make them. They're more, more like ovals or ellipses, but... Uh, there we go. So another nice thing uh, with tip dry, the, with the way this uh, nozzle cap and air cap is designed, you go ahead and pinch off your tip dry. You don't have to worry about uh, 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 taking anything off the front of the airbrush. Another nice thing about that is if you are using some uh, nice cleaning brushes, take your smallest one and you can go ahead and get that in there if you're not getting all the all the tip dry off with uh, just pinching it. There we are, full trigger. You can see uh, how thick the lines got. Obviously, the, the farther away I move back, the thicker my lines are going to be. The closer I am, that's when we get into the pencil lines and the hair lines. And of course trigger control does go along with that guys. I can't just get up get up close like this and open that trigger all the way back and expect to pull a fine line because that's what you're going to get right there. Actually I'll demonstrate that. You're going to get a real thick line. Now that's more of a dagger stroke because it is tapered down at the end but it's not that it's not that thin hairline, it's not that thin pencil line that a lot of people are looking for in a, in a fine detail brush. So final thoughts and pros and cons on the Badger Renegade Velocity. Uh, pros. It's inexpensive. It's not going to break the bank buying this airbrush. Uh, it feels great in your hand. The trigger action is totally smooth. Um, cons. Because it is a fine detail airbrush, um, your needle, your nozzle, um, all that is, is really, really fine, so you do want to be careful anytime you are breaking the airbrush down completely to clean it out. I guess that's not so much a con, but, you know, uh, depending on who you are, if you're clumsy and you, can, and you drop things like me sometimes, it can be a con. So that's something to take into consideration. Uh, as a first time, you know, new guy buying, buying an airbrush, I'm not sure that I would go with the Velocity to learn on. Uh, it does make a great addition to, let's say, an Omni 4000, Patriot 105, DeVilbus Dagger. Uh, these guns, they have uh, little larger nozzles, a little more versatile uh, as far as like larger spraying areas and things. So uh, this gun will pair nicely with, uh, with any one of those. And more on those other airbrushes uh, here in a while, we'll get to some more reviews on those. So. Um, on the final thoughts on the on the velocity from Badger, it's a great gun, guys. I highly recommend it. Thank you once again to Ken from Badger for sending these out to me. I've had a blast working with them, and I hope to see you guys soon.